Hello again everybody and welcome to my channel, The Gentleman Reviewer. So last week I posted a video just with a brief overview of the Dollar Tea Club from the theteaclub.com. Um, this week I'm going to go a little bit more in depth as to what sort of programs that the Dollar Tea Club offers and what I've thought about my first review and most of the teas that I've tried. Like I said in the last one, they did send me um, the this month's Explorer edition along with I think it was about seven or eight other sample size teas about this size and that'll get you two maybe three cups out of each pack um, So thanks to them for sending some of that extra stuff over um, I'll also dive into some of the other things they sent me as well and but let's dive in So one of the problems that I have with tea is I'm a creature of habit I'm very much someone who finds things that I really enjoy and I stick with them and it can be a ton of fun to break out of that and try something new. But I'm also worried about, you know, I don't want to buy a bunch of tea and then end up not liking it because I'm also the type of person, I'll just suck it up and drink it. And I am I really don't want to sit down on a day like today with a nice hot cup of tea and be drinking something that I'm not a fan of, at least not for very long. I could deal with two or three cups, but not more than that. Um, so the Dollar Tea Club is great because it'll break me out of that like kind of rut that I'm in with teas by letting me try some things that I maybe wouldn't pull off the shelf. Um, like a Rui Bills, for example. I'm not really someone who thinks a red tea sounds great just in my head. Um, so I'm not likely to go and buy something like that. But they sent me a Rui Bills here and I'll give it a shot eventually. I still haven't gotten there yet. Even when I have it, I'm still <laughs> a little nervous to try new things sometimes. So... Let's dive into what it looks like. Before we go too much farther, be sure to check the description down below for a coupon code for 15% off. Gentleman15 is the coupon code. Um, I think it's first off your first order. Um, thanks to the head honchos over at the Dollar Tea Club for doing that for my viewers. So I found the Tea Club by perusing Facebook, as I have done with a couple of reviews, and decided to give it a shot. Um, I'll typically go through you know, I was I was expecting a catch, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'll typically go through to the shipping section and see, holy crap, there's $20 a month extra charges for this or something like that is what I see on a lot of advertisements like that where the cost for a product is really low, but where they get you is in the shipping and handling. And I was really glad that I did not find that with this subscription. So they do have $4.50 for shipping and handling, which might sound like a lot, but that's money that the company is spending on getting their employees to package and ship the tea. So shipping isn't usually that expensive on something that light, at least here in the US. I'm thinking maybe two, three dollars. Um, it usually costs me about four or five when I do an ink giveaway. Those are a little bit heavier than teas. So that $4.50 is definitely fair. And with dollar tea subscription, that brings your monthly total to $5.50 US for their monthly club. So for $5.50 each month, you get three teas with just whatever kind that they're sending out that month. Um, you can also add on things like paper mesh filters. I'll actually show you here. Um, so these guys, you just put the tea right in the top and then you just pull the, the string and the little thing shut and then you can steep it. And that's what I have in here. I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to show you on the camera cause I don't wanna spill tea all over my laptop. So you can add um, the filters in for about um, I think it's a dollar a month. I don't have it in my notes for some reason, um, but you can also add on three honey sticks for $1.95 a month. So you can up it a little bit here and there and get some other things that you'd like. But um, I just like the basic one. The coolest part is if you find out that you really, really like Peaches and Dream and you want to go farther with the tea, you can go and then order a whole separate 50 gram bag of tea, which will get you maybe 20, 25 cups um, on their shop. So you're not just stuck with the two, three cups, or you're not just stuck with little packets and hoping you can get it next month. There is a way that you can go and purchase it. So if you drink more tea, there are other options that you can choose for their subscription boxes. If you really like having a bigger size bag of tea so you can drink a lot more of it, there is an option for it called the Sensei. So that's gonna be about $12.70 a month if you drink about one cups a day, up to about $20.70 a month if you drink about two cups a day. And the only difference on that is how many of those larger 50 gram tea bags you, or bags of tea that you get. You'll get one if you drink about one cup a day, 
two if you drink about two cups a day. And I'll also include the Explorer option, which is just those three, three um, sachets of tea like this. Um, you can also, again, you can also include, um, with this option, they also have a um, tea steeper. It's the little mesh ball that I'm not a huge fan of personally because it gets a lot of the tea leaves into your tea. Um, but you can also choose to add on the paper ones and honey sticks again as well. So the last one that they offer as a monthly subscription is a sommelier. I think I'm saying that wrong. I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, but this is their third and final subscription box that you can look at. And this one has the most personalization out of any of the other ones. Um, so they have three options based on about how much tea you drink. A couple of cups a week would run you about $9 a month. One cup a day, about $17 a month. And then three cups a day is $25 a month. Again, each tier is just a little bit. The only difference between each tier is how many bags of tea of the 50 gram tea that you get. They still include the Explorer package, which is those three new ones every month. Um, they also include 20 tea bags and 10 honey sticks in your monthly order, or you can, sorry, you can add up to that much. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes, I apologize. They do include an infuser and then tea bags for the first order, and it doesn't look like they include it on the other ones. But again, they have add-ons if you really like those, where you can add up to 10 honey sticks and 20 tea bags a month. The last thing that they offer, which I guess you could do for yourself if you really want, is a gift section. So this one's great. It's called their Grand Explorer Gift Subscription. This is one where you could do it for someone else, or like I said, you could do it for yourself. Um, this is nice because you pay an upfront cost for three, six, or 12 months, and they can include either one or two large blends in each order. They Each one also includes tea bags, honey sticks, and that Explorer subscription as well. So there's four options, I guess, that you could get. Um, each for a different range. And the best part I think is there's no subscription, there's no cancellation fees, shipping and handling is very reasonable, um, especially for the cost of what shipping something like that is here in the United States. Um, so I've been satisfied with them so far. I've gotten to try, I think I'm at maybe five, six different types of tea so far just in the last month, which is amazing for me. Teas that I never would have thought to purchase. Um, let me pull some of these ones out that I've had. Oh, I've covered up the label, oh no. But like Peaches and Dream, I'm not a huge fan of peach, so I never would have pulled it off the shelf. There was a pumpkin patch one that I got. Not a huge fan of pumpkin, so I never would have pulled it off the shelf if I had that option, but I gave it a shot. I didn't like the smell of the pumpkin patch, but the tea itself was great. Um, so you, you get the option of trying things that you never would have tried. If you like, I've already touched on that if you like the tea, you can go and purchase the whole thing yourself. Um, and they have a nice little shop as well where you can do all different kinds of tea steepers. I'm actually a huge fan of tea steepers such as this where you can just, you know, it's plastic. You're not throwing away the paper bags that's got the string and all the work that goes into making those. You're getting a, something that'll last. I've had these for six or seven years now, maybe, maybe 10 now that I think about it, and it still works great. Um, I'm not putting all that waste back in the environment. So that's my initial impression so far. I really, really like the subscription and I'm really looking forward to um, getting more out, getting more tea. I did sign up for the Explorer Club and I still have my subscription as of this recording and I plan on having it for a while. Um, and again, they were kind enough to send over a couple other teas for me to try. Um, so thanks again for watching. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and head over to Dollar Tea Club and check out some new teas. See you all next time.